Good morning, folks. Minor crackling on our star today. We'll get a solar cycle update, peek in on a weather forecast, see new material from Sky Scholar, and get a solar climate forcing study as well. Equatorial coronal hole turning through on the sun. We are expecting minor CME impact from the weekend solar flare to arrive at some point later today, and we expect that to be minor. We are still monitoring the sunspots. All the active regions are small to mid-sized with minor to medium level magnetic complexity. We did see some flaring off the northern groups the last couple of hours and you can see those little flashes here. No further CME production from them, however. While we wait for today's expected impact, I'll be checking out the new Gozar images on HelioViewer. It's about time if I do say so myself. We now have both SDO and Goz on there and that's a wonderful thing. Peeking in on the solar cycle progression, December took us up another level. This was mostly due to the half cycle within the 5.9 month up and down. The full peak of that should come in February or March. Solar maximum is on our doorstep and expected to rain over the next three years. Speaking of rain, the other kind, and snow and more. Low cell entering central states today will drive severe weather on its southeastern convergence line, and the Gulf states are in for a severe weather outbreak tonight, possibly tornadoes. Eyes open there. Head over to Sky Scholar channel today and see his two latest videos. They continue the look at solar chemistry and the desperate need to rewrite a considerable amount of astrophysics. Link to his video page is in today's link list below this video. Top science article comes from names veteran observers might recognize. An excellent study here tying solar activity to the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. We'll add this on to several other studies we've seen in that vein before. The second and third authors show up in our textbook repeatedly. Learn about how the sun affects every major oscillation from El Nino to annular modes and everything from temperature to precipitation to lightning to hurricanes. The link to our bookstore is listed below the video as well. If you didn't catch yesterday's live Q&A, it was a whole two hours yesterday, full of good science answers and a bit of funny as well. That link is also below the video in the description box, and so is the link to tickets for our January 7th event in Cheyenne. The theme, of course, is that to learn more, watch the playlists, get our books, or jump off into any aspect of Observer World, check the links in the description box below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.